Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today we're going to make this super cute burp cloth for baby using our Cricut Maker and the Cricut Easy Press and some Heat and Bond Light by Thermoweb. This is a super simple project and it just took a little piece of fabric and a Target Dollar Spot kitchen towel that I had on hand and voila, you've got a super cute burp cloth. So let's get started. I have a 10 by 10 piece of fabric here that's going to fit my design that I've made in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to turn it over and press on the wrong side some Heat and Bond Light Adhesive. I'll show you the packaging here in just a moment. But the Heat and Bond Light Adhesive has a paper side and a rough side. You're going to put the rough side down on the wrong side of the fabric. You're going to use your Easy Press. I'm just using it at 305 and it just takes a few seconds to get this to adhere to the fabric. You want to keep the press moving, don't just leave it in one spot, but hold it for just a couple seconds and then move it around a little bit. Now this is the product that I'm using, it's called Heat and Bond Light Adhesive. It is, you can buy it in a packaging like this or you can buy it in a tube. You can get it at Walmart, I've got it linked in the description below the video. This is by Thermoweb and I really use this project product a lot, I like this one, you can sew through it. So once you have your adhesive stuck to your fabric, you want to let the fabric cool completely. Once the fabric has cooled completely, you're going to peel off that paper backing and you're going to notice right away that the back of your material has a shiny uh, finish to it now. That is actually adhesive, but it's not going to be adhesive until we reheat it. So you're going to put that shiny side down on your pink Cricut fabric mat and just place it in the, wherever you have it designed in Design Space. I'm doing it in the upper left corner. And then you're going to insert that into your machine and go ahead and cut your letters out. You do not mirror your letters. You're looking at the right side of the fabric so your letters should be facing the right way. And here you can see the Cricut Maker hard at work cutting the fabric. It's using the rotary blade and I just love to watch this every time. It continues to amaze me how perfectly these fabric pieces are cut out with the Cricut Maker. Now I'll give you a little tip. Let's peel off our the negative part. Here are my letters. Look how fabulously the Cricut Maker has cut these letters. Now the best recommendation I can give you when removing your fabric pieces from the mat is to rip it off like a band-aid. Rip it off quickly and that will um, help it not fray as much. Now it's not going to fray much at all with this uh, heat and bond on the back of it, but I like to, when I remove the letters, just whip them off quickly just like I'm taking off a band-aid. Okay, and now I have this towel that I have applied a little ruffle to. If you want to know how to apply the ruffle, I'll link another video where I showed that. And this is just a towel from the Target Dollar Spot. I'm going to fold it in half lengthwise so that I can establish where my center point is. And I'm just going to use the press, the Easy Press, to put a slight crease in there. Now I'm using the Cricut Easy Press mat. Highly recommend this. It makes a big difference in your pressing experience. Makes everything go a little bit faster, a little bit smoother, and it just gives you the perfect surface and it also reflects the heat back up into the press. My desktop is completely cool. It's really a remarkable tool to add to your Easy Press. Now I'm folding this in half the other direction and I'm just going to mark it with a pen. This towel has stripes in it so this pen is going to easily tell me which stripe I need to follow for my vertical center point and you can see my horizontal center point that we creased with the Easy Press. So that's going to help me line up my letters. Now we're going to remove the letters from the mat. Now remember I said if it's, I recommend just ripping it off just like a band-aid. You saw, saw how quickly I did that and you get very little fraying or strings left behind. You might want to start it with the spatula. This mat's a little bit older so it's not as sticky but I just whip it off really quickly just like I'm showing here. Perfect. So now I'm going to start lining up my letters. I know where my center point is and it should be between the R and the U. So I, and the stripes are making this super easy to line up. So I'm going to space this out. 
Now once I have it spaced out, I'm going to remove the B and the P and just work on the U and the R first. I'm going to refer to my Cricut Easy Press settings for the Easy Press mat. There are two different sets of settings. You want to make sure you're referring to the right one. These are for use with the Easy Press mat. Any other surface, you should use the ones that say towel settings. And I will link both of those below in the video description. But according to this, it would I go by the cotton and the Cricut light when I'm doing fabric this way. So it would it is telling me I need it set at 315 for 30 seconds. So we're going to set the Easy Press at 315 for 30 seconds. Once the Easy Press has reached 315, I'm going to place it right on top of that U and the R and set the timer for 30 seconds. I'm just holding it with a gentle pressure, nothing, nothing major, just lightly holding it, especially with this Easy Press mat. I can't stress enough how much this mat changes everything. It is gives you such a wonderful, wonderful adhesion with your iron-on, whether you're using the vinyl or this fabric iron-on, however you want to do it, but it makes a big difference. It's a game changer. Okay, so now that I have the U and the R, I'm going to place the P. And I'm not worried. This fabric's pretty hardy. I'm not covering it with anything. I'm not covering it with a Teflon sheet or Anything I'm just going to press right on top of this P and I'm not really worried about that R. It's not going to hurt it at all. And then I'm going to repeat this process for the full 30 seconds with the B. Once I have all four letters adhered, I'm going to flip it over and press this again for 30 seconds in two different sections to further secure the adhesion of the heat and bond. Whenever you're using the easy press, if it's possible to flip it over and press from the back, I always flip it over and press from the back. Cricut recommends that and it does give you a better adhesion. So I highly recommend that. Now all I did to finish this off was take it over to the sewing machine and I stitched around the edges of the letters. ThermoWeb does recommend that you stitch around the edges of the letters. This will come off in the wash. It is an adhesive and the washing machine will break down the adhesive. So you need those stitches around the edges to secure it permanently. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.